my name is Parker Bliss. You may know me as Demi Waters on Conundrum Company, and I'm here to catch you up on the story thus far. Our story begins in the small coastal city of Salt Marsh, where the town is abuzz as the bar Demi will be performing in the snapping line in that evening. Throughout a series of strange encounters and events with doors, the party becomes a party. Morton the Fearbold Druid, Zola the Yanti Warlock, the Earth Ganassi Fighter Peach, and Demi, the Water Ganassi Bard, all decide to help Master Solomar clear an old mansion of ghosts. The party delves headfirst into the mission of exploring this haunted mansion. Where they were hoping to find ghosts, or expecting to find ghosts, they actually find an undercover smuggling operation. And a few giant weasels. The party manages to uncover a signaling system for smuggling vessels, and also find an underground cave system. However, before they can get all the way through the caves, they decide it's better to inform the town of Saltmarsh and tell the council. The town guard investigates further, where they unearth the wizard Sanvalat and imprison him. Upon returning to Solomor, they're introduced to the rest of the Saltmarsh council, who ask them to investigate the smuggling vessels further. Although they originally had other plans, the party does take the vessel by force, and finds a stash of weapons that was meant to go to a lizard folk tribe residing in the nearby swamps. They also uncover the sea elf Oceanus, an old acquaintance of Demi's who had been enslaved by pirates and sold to the smugglers. Oceanus tells Demi that the Lady Lila has been captured and possibly sunk by the pirate princes. This was Demi's home for the majority of her life. They do manage to sail the smuggling vessel, the Sea Ghost, back to the Council, who are extremely grateful. The party decides to continue to help the Council of Saltmarsh, and goes forward to interrogate the wizard Sanbalat that the guard had found in the haunted mansion. Through a rather colorful interrogation, the party manages to find out that the smugglers of Saltmarsh are at odds with those loyal to the Crown. The name of the Council member, Gellin Primewater, surfaces from the wizard. The party follows a couple of leads to the outpost of Brule. There they encounter a tree ent named Wanderoot, and the rangers of Brule who protect the kingdom of Keolin from the Dreadwood. The party investigates recent attacks coming from the Dreadwood, and uncover a hag that's been working for someone named Granny Nightshade. They stop the spread of corruption through Morton's powers and return safely to Wanderoot. Meanwhile, Zal's patron, Mother, reveals to him that his purpose is to find and restore an ancient relic named the Ostis Anchor. The party returns to Saltmarsh, only to find that the captured wizard Sanbalat was brutally murdered in his cell. Suspicion of Gellin Primewater continues to grow. The Crown offers the party the Sea Ghost as a loner vessel to help complete their missions. The party accepts, becoming privateers under the Kingdom of Keolin. The weapons lead from the smuggling ship direct Saltmarsh attention to a possible new threat, a group of lizard folk in the swamps nearby preparing for war. The party travels out on their newly named vessel, the Falling Star, to make contact with the Lizard Folk. While the Lizard Folk initially seem hostile, the party applies diplomacy and finds out that they are not interested in going to war with Saltmarsh. The Lizard Folk are at war with a swag and threat that forced them from their home. The party helps out the Lizard Folk by killing Thousand Teeth, a legendary alligator. Through this, the party is able to gain a bit of trust and begin to forge an alliance between Saltmarsh and the Lizard Folk. The party returns to Saltmarsh with the Lizard Folk ambassador, Swarov. From there, they begin to form an alliance with the intent of pushing back the Swagan threat. Gellin Primewater is murdered in his sleep, leaving behind a young daughter, Odophilia Primewater. The party investigates, unveiling the murderer as none other than Scarin Wave Chaser, Master Solomor's butler. Despite the party's best efforts, Scarin escapes. He does, however, leave behind evidence revealing the Scarlet Brotherhood as an organization, and also alluding to the fact that he's been watching the party and other important members of Saltmarsh for a while now. The party hurry to protect those close to them and assure that Scarin can't cause any more damage. Scarin taunts the party, attempting to dissuade them from following him through the threatening of Peach's mother, Plum. Scarin's paper trail reveals that the Scarlet Brotherhood was intending to sow discourse in the population of Saltmarsh. They also learn that the Scarlet Brotherhood has ties to the Pirate Princes. They learn that the Brotherhood is involved in subterfuge around Keolin, including the nation's capital, Neoldra. The party travels through the styes to Oanoke, picking up Peach's mother, Plum. Here, each member of the party encounters haunting pieces of their past. 
Demi learns that the Lady Lila sails once again, but this time under pirate colors. Morton learns the terrible repercussions of those he associates with. Zal discovers a strange statue of his patron. They return to their ship and sail on to Seton. The party encounters the storm giant Vjolnir outside the gates of Seton. They help him gain access to the port, and he promises to reward them. The party receives a summon from the crown of Keolin, summoning them back to Saltmarsh to aid in the battle against the Smogan. The party returns to Saltmarsh and joins Admiral Hawk, the Lizard Folk, the Koalin, Aloakath, and people of Saltmarsh as they form a flotilla heading towards the Swagen Stronghold. The party infiltrates the Swagen Stronghold with the intent of determining enemy fortifications and numbers. During their infiltration, they find a part of a relic connected to Zal's patron, the Ostis Anchor. They also encounter the strange Leonin Dodasco, a paladin of a lesser known greater deity, Surduir. They escape the stronghold by the skin of their teeth. After sharing the details they had scouted from the forest with their allied forces, the party decided to join the siege. They found themselves joining the Koalinth on their moving siege fortress, Clack Clack. Admiral Hawk and their other allied forces assault the island from the surface. The Conundrum Company defended the siege crab from Swagen assault until it could breach the underwater gate. After the party slew the Swagen general, the siege turned in their favor. The Swagen found themselves trapped between forces on land and below the sea. The battle was won and the fortress was taken. The party returned to Saltmarsh to find themselves lorded as heroes. Word of their victory had traveled ahead and everyone in Saltmarsh had turned out to celebrate those who helped combat the Swagen threat. The party, who had been critically important in the battle, gained citizenship to the town and land as a reward. And so the group found themselves in the possession of the Conundrum Isle, a small island off the coast of Saltmarsh, about 15 minutes away, with a lighthouse and a dock for their ship. You can watch the Conundrum Company's adventures live every Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash thewelcomein.